What's up, YouTube? Finally got my fishing license. So before we get started, though, don't forget to smack that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want. You know that have subscribed, much love. Also, if you want to leave a comment, talk to me. Hit me up down there. Also, yeah, I've been craving crawfish, so I'm at my crawfish honey hole. And there ain't much out here like there was last time, but I got that basket down there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's been down there for about 20 minutes. But, yeah, let's get some crawfish, hopefully. Let's pull it up and see what we got. Ah, fast, fast, fast. Oh, we got some. We got some. Uh-oh. Ah, yes. All right, this is that basket I made. If y'all ain't seen the video, go down there and check it out. It's down there. But, yeah, look. I caught some mud bugs. We got lunch. All right. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got seven on them. Caught them with ham. All right, let me get these bad boys up. I already got the fire started. It's water boiling up. I'm about to cook them up. My whole idea is pretty much poor man gumbo. Went to Walmart, got that chicken and sausage gumbo. Add these mud bugs to it. It's gonna be the bomb, I bet. But uh, yeah, let me get these bad boys out and throw them in the pot. All right, got those bad boys out. One thing I'm really using right now is that Zatarain's shrimp and crab oil concentration, concentrated, whatever. Got that Tony Chetcher's in the little salt shaker. And yeah, just put some of that stuff in there. It's already boiling. Let's get these bad boys in there. Let's see, where you at? Look at this one. This is a good sizer. It's pretty good. All right, that's one. Two. Oh, he's pretty good size. One claw. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. All right. Pretty much sit there and let them boil for about what about 30 minutes uh, 15 minutes 30 minutes keep an eye on it and pretty much all right we'll be back with you once they're ready all right so far it's looking good y'all boiling up over here like i said how you can tell they're done they turn red and right there between their back and their tail this should pop apart a little bit you'll start seeing a little white meat like this one right here yeah, this one, I don't know. Oh, come here, buddy. That one's got a little bit of white meat showing. But let it sit there for a little bit longer. Got that one on pretty much warming up over there. Got the gumbo over there. Set these babies in here for a little bit longer and, and pill them up and grub out. Like I said, only thing that's in there the Zatarans, shrimp and crab boil, crawfish, might as well say crawfish on there too, I don't know why. But this stuff is pretty strong, so you don't want to use too much. I think it's like a tablespoon. Yeah, something like that. And like I said, the Tony Chetchers, just for salt, pretty much, it's in season all. And yeah, these bad boys are cooking, and check in with y'all in a little bit. All right, these bad boys should be ready, y'all. Check them out. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven. A little darker than the rest. All right, let me break one apart and see what the tail looks like. Gumbo's down there pretty much warming up. Pretty much, all you want to do is grab them right there. If you're lucky, you could break it at this little tail part and you're able to pull the poop line out with it, but I didn't do it that time. <laughs> so, pretty much, it ripped that off. And boom. Off. Got your little piece of meat. See a little poop line or blood line or I don't know what 
what it is. If y'all do, let me know in the bottom what y'all want to call that. Call it a poop line. I pull it out. The one with that. Pretty much, you get a little piece like that. You do it to the rest of them. And throw it in with that gumbo. Should be the shit. All right. I'll be, let me peel all these. I know y'all don't want to watch me peeling all these. Holy cow, fam. If I was cleaning this one out, look what's inside of it. I think I got a pregnant one. Feel kind of bad now because it has eggs in there if I'm right. It looks like egg sacs. Dang. Kind of feel bad for it, but hopefully she tastes good, I guess. Want to eat the eggs? <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's pretty crazy. I've never seen one with eggs yet. That's a first. All right, guys. Once you're done, should have these left over. Those are the leftovers. I'm going to throw them out there for the trout that are in there. But now I just add these to the gumbo. It ain't much crawfish, but that's what the gumbo's for, you know? Crawfish is just extra. Put them all up in there and cook it up. Well, now you see what time it is. I gotta go pick my kids up from school. Just mix it all up in there. Let it sit for a little bit. And let, it, let the juices get inside with the crawfish. Alright. Let's grab these. Awesome man for the trout. Mm. All right. Yeah, just let it sit there for about know, five minutes. Let it soak up a little bit. Boom, and there you go. The end results. Got your poor man crawfish gumbo. Or crawfish gumbo on a budget. <laughs> Get that. Throw some Tony Chetches in it. Pow, pow. Let's try this bad boy out. Even got Chico a little bowl, see if he wants some. Too far. Still got some gumbo too. Chico, you want to try some? Eats it. I'm not sure if he will, but we'll see. <laughs> mix it up, test this out, and see how it goes. Like I say, if you got the time and patience, just sit there and let the mud bugs come to you. Oh, there's a crawdad right there. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Actually pretty heck yeah, that's actually awesome. Like I said, that can of gumbo I bought was Campbell's chicken and sausage gumbo. I think it was like dollar seventy. Brought some ham from the house and my little do-it-yourself little basket I made on the last video. Like I said, if you ain't seen it, go check it out. But uh I'm gonna sit here and finish this up. And look, Chico's over there grabbing too. He's actually liking it. So you know it was good. But I'm about to grab out, you guys. Hurry up before I get the kids. If you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you want. Like I said, those that are subscribed, much love. Thank y'all. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next journey, hopefully. Let's go. Mm.